Welcome to another rendition of our report, Spotlight. I'm your host, Wang from Wang, and hi, Matt. Thank you for taking your time. How about we start right into the video and you start off with a little bit of introduction and tell us more about your background. Sure, happy to. Thanks, Wang. Um, I've been an analyst at IoT Analytics for three years now, and my background is in industrial automation. So prior to joining IoT Analytics, um, my roles were mostly related to industrial IoT. So first as a systems integrator for about five years and then moving into product management for an industrial gateway company uh, after that. Thanks, Matt, for a reply. How about you tell us how that topic caught your interest? Sure. So I've always been interested in IoT, um, but back during my systems integration days in the early 2010s, um, there really wasn't any IoT platform to help connect the industrial assets that I was working in at the time to the cloud or even the, an on-premise uh, system in a very cost-effective or time-efficient way. I was first exposed to IoT platforms in uh, the middle of 2016, early 2017, during my tenure as a gateway product manager. Back then, the cloud hyperscalers were really just taking off with their IoT platform. So it was my job as the gateway product manager to figure out how to connect our piece of hardware to those platforms. So I became very uh, familiar with both the challenges and the opportunities associated with uh, connecting to the, their platforms. And um, yeah, that's what got me interested in the space. Thank you very much. And uh, why do you think other people should learn more about the topic? I think the main reason people should learn more about the topic is because IoT use cases can create a lot of value for organizations of all shapes and sizes. And IoT platforms help reduce the cost of realizing that value. So both end users and vendors need to learn about the topic. Um, vendors should learn more about the topic to try and understand how to position themselves in the market and what they can offer to help their customers realize uh, value. And end users should learn more about the topic so that they can better understand how to realize value by using an IoT platform and also maybe understand what their competitors are doing to uh, realize value from platforms. So I think those are two reasons why. Thank you. And uh, do you mind sharing a few insights from a report? Yeah, um, I'll give you three key takeaways. So uh, the first takeaway is that IoT platforms are being adopted at scale by large organizations. This isn't a um, small market anymore with uh, limited adoption on small niche players. Companies that are you know, like Walmart in the retail space and Volkswagen in the automotive space are rolling out IoT platforms to thousands, hundreds of thousands, even millions of devices. So that's takeaway number one. Number two is that cloud hyperscalers have emerged as the clear market leaders in this space. Um, companies like Amazon and Microsoft have invested billions of dollars in developing their IoT platforms, and the uh, investment is paying off. They've kind of pulled away from the pack as the clear market leaders. And takeaway number three is end users, integrators, and smaller IoT platform vendors need to have a strategy for dealing with the cloud hyperscalers. Two of the key questions that uh, all of these entities need to answer are, one, which cloud provider or providers should we partner with? And two, how deep should we partner with them? Whether it's on a infrastructure as a service only basis or diving deep into the platform and integrating with all their platform as a service features. So I think those are the takeaways for you. Thank you very much, Matt. That was very insightful. So I think that concludes our video. So to all of yours, thank you for taking the time watching this video. If you're interested in checking out our IoT Platforms Market Report, then go ahead and visit our website and download a sample, or simply contact us through the contact form on our website or through our social media accounts. See you next time.